I studied software engineering at university. I thought I wanted to be a programmer and uh, I, I do love programming. I do love coding, but um, I also realized that I didn't want to be stuck behind the desk for the rest of my life. So I kind of left the university and looking for what's, what's out there, what's next. I went to work in a call center, which was a fantastic start to my career. Um, and, and I've never really left that mindset behind. Um, I learned about sexy words and non-sexy words and things that you should say to people and how you should say them to people. And when I then left the call center environment, because I couldn't work with my now wife, because, whoa, 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 magnetic opposites, let's not go there. <laughs> um, so when I left and went into retail, actually the background that I had in contact centers really stood me apart from everybody else. I was a very young manager. I was 21 years old. I was, I was managing stores. And actually because of the skills that I'd learned in the call center, um, I could communicate really effectively in person. Um, so that was, that was, for me, was a great start point to my career. Um, and then along the way, probably in the next year or so, I then became a volunteer police officer. Um, so in pretty much all of my career, as I would call it, I have dealt with people in person or over the phone and dealt with some really challenging situations. And you know, I've worked every, every part of the police force from substance misuse to accident investigations units. Um, and that huge broad array of experiences i think has given me like a, a really deep curiosity as to what makes people do what they do 